Hello, YouTube. I'm Natalie. My channel is Scientology, a life after a cult, where I talk about Scientology and other culty things. I am venturing into the kitchen today because the holidays are coming up and I thought, you know what? I should at least know how to make some cookies, do something as basic like that. Maybe even I can do it. Probably not, but we're going to find out. I was inspired by my good friend Jenna Miscavige, who you can also find here on YouTube. She made these amazing cookies when she was here at my house. And I've got Jenna's video pulled up. If I can remember my iPad password. That's not it. That's, oops, is that, there we go. <laughs> Step one, I'm already rocking it. I'm not a baker. I don't even really cook. I do love to eat, but I do not like to cook. It's just been something that's never really been my thing. And I so admire people who can do that. Jenna made these amazing cookies and I thought, what if I could make those cookies, especially for the holidays? So I was watching the video, which I have queued up here. When I was watching her video, I also decided that that seems a little too complicated to me for a first effort, and maybe I need to do something a little more simple. In Scientology, the cult we both grew up in, we were taught to, if something's confusing, to cut back the gradient. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna do that. So I watched her video, it had a lot of ingredients in it, and the, the cookies were amazing. I mean, I ate them, they were amazing. But that seems too hard. I'm gonna go with this box of cookie, which is also low sugar, which is something I try to do. It's something I try to do, but I royally fail at. I don't know why I keep trying, but uh, I don't know. I guess try, try, try again. <laughs> but I do try to watch sugar. So I'm gonna try making this Swerve keto-friendly chocolate chip cookie mix. It's, you know, it's in a box, so it's supposed to be easier. You still need ingredients though. Oh, it's gluten-free too, gluten and grain-free. So I need a box of the chocolate chip mix. Voila, three tablespoons of milk. I don't have milk, I don't drink milk. Can I use cream, half and half? Can I use almond milk? Huh, milk, milk, milk. I mean, milk is milk, right? You know what, let's grab the cream. Cream slash milk, we're going with it. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Extract. I thought this was a box. I thought everything's supposed to be in it. Now I got to go find ingredients. Okay, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, if I am vanilla extract. Okay, we got options. Oh, great. Now. Okay, we've got a big thing of pure vanilla extract. Pure vanilla extract. Pure vanilla extract. So I'm going to guess any of these will do. <laughs> Let's go with this one because I like the bottle. The bottle is really pretty and I feel that when one is cooking, it should be an aesthetic thing. <laughs> so let's just go with that one. What else do we need? Three tablespoons of melted butter. Huh, melted butter. I have that. Now when, when it says melted, does it mean like melted melted or just soft? I probably should have figured this stuff out beforehand. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go with the just soft butter. We have to preheat the oven to 350. Okay, bake, make sure nothing's in it, 350. Let's see, start, there we go. We are preheating the oven. Greasing cookie sheet and applying parchment paper to the bottom. Why would you have to grease the cookie sheet if you're applying parchment paper? By greasing cookie sheet, oh, or, or, keyword here, by greasing cookie sheet or applying parchment paper to the bottom. So I need a cookie sheet. Let's see, I feel like I've seen one. Oh, let's see. Here we go. This looks like a cookie sheet. And parchment paper, I know I have. Is this it? It's not in the right container. This is plastic wrap, but this looks like parchment paper. Let's go with it. Okay, so you put the parchment paper. How do you? There we go. Keeping it classy. Put the parchment parchment paper on the cookie sheet. All right, look at that. We've got the oven preheated. We've got parchment paper. I'm pretty sure it's parchment paper, but I guess we'll find out. So I need a whisk. I need a whisk and a bowl. Let's see. Oh. Bowl. Oop. Five second rule. 
I found two. One is like plastic, one is like metal. I wonder if it... Okay, enough of that. Metal, plastic. I'm gonna go with the metal one. Together mix. Okay, so I need stuff to measure. Teaspoon and tablespoon. Oh man. Okay, so let me see if I can find that. I feel like I for sure have seen a teaspoon. <laughs> Huzzah! Okay, oh wait, no, this isn't right. This is, ah, is any of this a teaspoon? Oh no, this is too small, okay. Okay, before you totally judge me about not knowing where anything is in my kitchen, <laughs> go ahead and judge me actually, because I do not know where things are in my kitchen because I don't usually cook. But like I said, in the spirit of the holidays, I'm trying to learn how to make these cookies. I don't know where a tablespoon measurer is. I need to add that to my Amazon thing. Alexa, add tablespoon, teaspoon measurer to my list. I added tablespoon, teaspoon measurer to your shopping list. Okay, there. Yeah, I got it. Now that's added to my list. But in the meantime, we're gonna have to punt because I don't know where that is. How could we not have that? I feel like I totally had a t measuring thing like that, but there's only like two, three places it could be in. It's not there, I looked around. Huh, 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 huh. Did I put it somewhere so I could find it easily? No. Oh well, you know what? Make it go right. <laughs> Together, milk and vanilla extract in a large bowl, add cookie mix and stir well until combined. All right, so we're gonna, this is like a teaspoon and it was a tea, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we're gonna go with the vanilla that's in the pretty bottle because that just seems right. Oh great, it's not even opened. Maybe I should use the one that's already opened. Here we go, let's just use that. Ooh. Okay, two teaspoons. Oh gosh, I hope this is right. One, that, I don't know. I really should have gotten measuring stuff first, but what do you do? I did not claim to be a genius in the kitchen, quite the opposite actually. Okay, so we got our vanilla extract and then we have to put in the milk, which is three tablespoons. So we're just gonna use a bigger spoon. And I don't have milk, so we're gonna use cream half and half, which is the closest thing I have. One, two, and a little bit extra because I don't know, that doesn't feel like a whole tablespoon. All right, and then what do we do? Put in the, put in this part. All right. Ugh. Oh man. They should put like a thing where you can just whoop, just tear it off there. Okay, scissors. I have scissors. Hold on. Right. Whew. I don't even know how Jenna does this from scratch because I'm doing a box and it still seems like it's a lot. Okay, so you pour that in there. Ooh, I gotta turn on the menopause fan. I always got the menopause fan with me because you know, your girl's in her 50s. Okay, let's see. Uh, whisk together, no, we want the metal one. Uh, whisk together milk and vanilla extract in a large bowl, add mix and stir until well combined. Add melted butter to mix and stir until combined. All right, let's just, wait, that just doesn't seem like a lot of liquid. It's so powdery still. It doesn't seem like dough. Maybe I have to add the butter. Or maybe I didn't add enough of the milk. Ah, oh, man. Okay, let's see. Well, let's add the butter in and see what happens. <laughs> uh, God, I'm hungry. Let's have a little clementine while we work here. Okay, so add the butter. How much butter? Three tablespoons melted butter. Okay, right after our snack here. And again, I don't have a, somehow I don't have any measuring utensils. I don't know why. I feel, I knew we had them at some point. I don't know where they are. Okay. 
three, wait, how much butter? Three tablespoons melted butter. I feel like that looks like three tablespoons. So let's just put that whole thing in there. And again, it's just not doughy. Oh, maybe, ah, now melted butter is making sense. Melted butter would be liquid. All right, hold on. We're going to salvage this. <laughs> I did not melt the butter. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I've now learned. You know what? You don't fail if you learn, right? So melted butter is melted butter. It's not soft butter is what I'm thinking. So now what I need to... I need to melt the butter, but it's already in there. So let's microwave it. Okay. Okay, start. Just for a little bit, and I'm hoping that that will do it. This seems like a really big undertaking. And this is the first time I've made anything in the kitchen in a while. Oh, let's see. All right. Oh, didn't melt it. Let's try more. Can eat my clementine while we wait. Mmm, I should check on it. All right, that's better. That's better. All right, let's, ah, dang it. It's not melted enough, I think, but let's still try this. <laughs> Okay, now it's starting to look more like dough, so I feel like I'm doing something right. There we go, now we're cooking with gas. Look at that, it's looking more like cookie dough. Add melted butter to mix and stir until combined. Drop dough onto parchment lined with a tablespoon. If desired, flatten cookie by gently pressing down. Okay, let's, let's. Ugh, this thing's a pain in the butt. How are you supposed to like, do you really have to dig it out of this thing every single time you use it? All right, so we've got everything combined, or at least I think so. Let's give it a little bit more of a stir with this spoon. Okay, so here's the other thing I just realized is that because I microwaved to melt the butter after I put in the mix, the chocolate chips melted too. So they're gonna be more chocolate flavored cookies instead of chocolate chip, because you're not gonna be able to see the chocolate chips because they melted with the butter in the microwave. But hey, I'm making it go right. Mmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, let's get out another clean spoon. What did it say? Do you roll them? Drop dough onto parchment lined. Okay, let's. Oh wait, does this have two sides? Is this two sides? Which side goes on the bottom? I'm gonna choose to believe the shiny side kind of goes up top. So put that there. Now we're just making little, little, little cookie balls, which we're gonna flatten. Did it say two tablespoons or one tablespoon? With a tablespoon. If desired, flatten cookies by gently pressing down. I wonder what happens if you do, and I wonder what happens if you don't. I don't know. We will find out though. This is like nowhere near, I feel like, uh, Jenna makes it look so easy. And I don't know how she talked through the whole thing too, because I don't know that I could multitask. I don't know that I could tell you a story while doing this, <laughs> like she can. <laughs> oh my goodness. Little round cookie balls for Christmas. All right. My family, well, I'm gonna have to get more box cookies. We'll see how these taste. A friend of mine sent this to me to try, because it's made with monk fruit sweetener, I believe, instead of regular sugar. And 80% of the time, I try to avoid sugar. And 20% of the time, it is a free for all. <laughs> all things in moderation, right? Or at least the things we can moderate on. All right, I got my, I feel like I've got two more cookie balls I can get out of here. One cookie ball, two cookie ball. Ooh, it's kind of, I'm gonna wash my hands. 
You know, coming out of a cult, it's like learning new things. <laughs> it's been a long time though. I've been out of Scientology for almost 15 years. I escaped with three generations of my family from that human trafficking cult. Ooh, I still got little clementines. All right. If desired, flatten cookies by gently pressing down. I don't know. To press or not to press? This is the question. What happens if I don't push down? I should call Jenna. I wonder if I can call her on the iPad. Oh, hold on. Oh, now I gotta get the password again. Let's see. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe she shows it in her video. I'm gonna look at her video. Let's see. Play. There's a little almond inside. Come up. Okay, so she's stirring. Since I never did live in a. Oh, Jenna's using like an ice cream scooper on hers. My parents. I um. That's because she makes some big cookies. That's what I liked about her cookies too, but I already went and made mine small. So I got to stick with that. Let's see if she flattens. Do you flatten? I didn't learn how to bake from them. And I, um... Okay, she did not flatten her balls. She just put them in round. Her cookies went in round, so I'm going to do that. We're just going to do that. I'm doing it. Oh, of course they add this at the end. Note, place dough in refrigerator for 30 minutes before gently pressing down for a thicker cookie. Well, I already, you know what, we're not doing that. We'll try that next time. So I think now I just need to put them in the oven. Bake 12 to 14 minutes or until the edges of the cookies are golden brown. Let cool on cookie sheet. Well, my cookies are brown, so I'll be able to see golden brown and they're brown because I microwave the butter once it was in the mix. But you know what? We learn and we do better. We know better, we do better. <laughs> and you know what? I think you guys are really figuring out why you don't come to me for any type of cooking advice or anything like that. <laughs> Cause I suck at it, but I'm trying to learn. Okay, 12 to 13 minutes in the oven, which I think is preheated, right? Doesn't it usually beep? Did anybody notice? Did it beep? Oh, I'm asking you like you're going to answer. I'm so used to doing a live stream, not like this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to choose to believe it beeped. So let's put this in the oven. Okay, how do we set the timer? Book time. Okay, it said 12 to 14, so I'm going to set it to 12. Do you just, oh, start? Or is it already started? It says 12 minutes, but it's not blinking. Should it be blinking? Oh, you know what? Maybe it's going. I'm going to choose to believe that the oven is going. <laughs> Oh, now we can finish these. Well, what are you guys doing for the holidays? Is there something that you like to bake or you like to do as a tradition? I've never done anything cooking wise for the holidays, but like I said, Jenna's video inspired me. I thought it might be fun to try and figure out. And I know that I am missing some tools like the measuring stuff, but you try anyways. And I think, I don't know, this whole experiment feels like there's a lot of life lessons here. <laughs> making a list of what you need, making sure you have what you need before you start. But even if you don't and you just go at it, just have fun with it. That's what I'm doing. These are juicy. I like how they just explode in your mouth when you get a real juicy one. explosion of flavor. Well, that's cooking. What do you do while it's cooking? Maybe I should clean up. Now cleaning, I rock at cleaning. I can clean the hell out of something. I clean better than I cook. And that's kind of how Tony and I would do it too. Sometimes is he would cook and then I would do help with the cleanup. Cause I actually, I'm much rather clean than cook. Little Tom Cruise there. <laughs> For someone who doesn't bake, why do, why do I have so much vanilla? Why? Why do I have so much vanilla? I'm the one who does the groceries. So yeah, I don't know. Can I make a phone call from here? I think I can FaceTime. Let me text her first. I should have just 
called Jenna right away and asked her, let's see, Jenna, can I FaceTime you? I gotta find the FaceTime app. FaceTime. Do you want to upgrade to Wi-Fi calling on this iPad? Yes, let's do that. Why not? Okay, Jenna's gonna call me. I should have kind of called her probably with my specific questions, but we kind of, I made some executive decisions. You know what I'm saying? Hey, lovely. Can you see me? I can, I can see you. It just went a little out, but that might just be cell phone, but I can hear you, which is super important. Oh, okay, good. Perfect. So, I'm making cookies. Um, I looked oh. at your video. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I watch I watched your video making the cookies and I decided that from scratch was gonna be too hard. So I'm making these box cookies, except now I made a couple executive decisions. So, and they're already in the oven, but number one, I did not have a tablespoon or teaspoon measure or thing. I don't know why, I know I had them before. So I kind of eyeballed it with a spoon, just kind of what felt right. I messed up on the butter. So it said three tablespoons of melted butter. And I had some butter that was next to the stove that was soft. So I put that in and it didn't make it all doughy. And then I realized it actually has to be melted. So I put the bowl in the microwave with everything in it to melt the butter, which it melted with the- With everything in it? Yeah. Ju <laughs> just enough to try to melt the butter but in the process it melted the chocolate chips so oh my goodness oh my goodness yeah okay. so now they just look like chocolate cookies but i still think i'm fine so then i stirred it all up and it got like a dough and then it said if you want to you can push them down so i went and i i looked at your video and you had just these big balls on there like you were using a a scooper like yours weren't yeah, small yeah. and I like that. I wish I would have thought about that and made big cookies, but so I just use, I just left them as balls. Is there a, like, uh -huh. why do you smash them sometimes and not smash them the other times? Um, I think I only smash peanut butter cookies, but I just, um, I think that they slowly like kind of melt down to the right size sort of when you use the scooper. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you asking me for reassurance that these are going to turn out okay? Yes. Even though you didn't do a single thing on the recipe and you replaced absolutely everything and you microwaved the entire dough. <laughs> but I only microwaved it for like, you know, like 30 seconds to try and melt the butter, but it did melt the chocolate chips. But I figure it's all going in the same place, right? <laughs> Yep, and it's going to be the same as the same place where it all comes out, too. <laughs> no, I'm sure they'll be good. Yeah, they're going to be chocolate, chocolate, chocolate cookies more than chocolate chip cookies. And I preheated the oven. It said to do it 12 to 14 minutes. Yeah, so I put it in for 12 and so figured. you do it for one minute and 30 seconds and be like, I wonder why they didn't turn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? The thing you can't go wrong with is that they have chocolate in them. So you'll be fine. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. So I figure it's going to be fine. It'll be fine. It, I mean, I've eaten like raw cookie dough mix and I've liked that. So how much, you know, worse can it get? Yeah, 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 exactly. We'll see, we'll see. We're about to find out, I guess. Yeah, let me look. Okay, they, yeah, they look like they're coming together. I also noticed in your cookie video, before you put them in the oven, you sprinkled something on the top. Was that salt? Yeah, yeah, but that's like, you know, that's not on all cookies. Like I wouldn't put salt on all cookies. It's just if it like, if it goes with the flavor. Okay. Although it is good on like chocolate chip cookies. If I didn't add salt before, can I add the salt after they come out? I mean, if you want the salt to bounce off of it and have a salted countertop instead of actually salted cookies. <laughs> <laughs> good point. I will probably just avoid the salt then at that point. Maybe while they're still warm, it will work. Just like just sprinkle a little bit on one and see if the flavor is good with it and then sprinkle it on the rest of them. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I should try that. 
Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna go practice my Tom Cruise slide into, on the kitchen floor in my socks while the <laughs> cookies finish up. <laughs> okay, good luck, beautiful. You can do it. I, see how they turn out. I appreciate the encouragement. I love you. I will talk to you later. Love you. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. All right, well, as we heard there from Jenna Miscavige, I have messed up every step of this recipe. <laughs> but hey, forge ahead, right? Try it anyways. And the cookies look like they're just about to be done. So it was 12 to 14 minutes or until the edges of the cookies are golden brown. Let cool on a cookie sheet. Well, it's already on a cookie sheet. Do you put it on another cookie sheet? Let cool, oh, on cookie sheet. How are they gonna cool if the cookie sheet is hot? Maybe the cookie sheet and the cookies cool together. I don't know. Let's look in the oven. Oh, okay. Ooh, I think they need a little bit more cooking, but look so far. Woo! See? Woo! Oh, oh, ouch, ouch! This oven mitt doesn't do shit. Damn it. Oh, there's a hole in it. Ah, now I'm burning the counter. Damn it. Why is the stove beeping? Okay, that's okay. I think it needs to go back in the oven. Oh my gosh, I think I burnt my hand. <laughs> Why are you beeping? All right. Oh, God, that's hot. Let's do another two minutes cook time. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this hole. Sabotage. Saboteur. Who would cut a hole in my oven mitt? <gasps> OSA. It's the Office of Special Affairs, Scientology's intelligent branch. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, I'm gonna throw this away. Oh, okay, so. Let's think ahead a little bit. I'm gonna take the cookies out and they're supposed to cool and I still don't understand how they're gonna cool on a hot cookie sheet. Let cool on cookie sheet. So I just leave it. I'm gonna have to eat one though. How do I not eat one? Fresh out of the oven? I should have made these when my grandkids were here. They were slept over the other night. I have two grandchildren. That was a lot of fun. My daughter did most of the work in heavy lifting though because I'm kind of over it. <laughs> a lot. This is a great thing about being a grandma is I get to spend time with these amazing little creatures who I just love and adore, but when, you know, any actual work needs to be done involving them, I just hand them back to their parents. <laughs> it is so fantastic. It is the best thing ever. I just love them so much, and I love seeing my kids be being parents. So two of my three kids have a child, and it is such a beautiful thing to see your kids parent. I really enjoyed that. But let's be real, these cookies would have been all eaten by those kids and not as much for me. <laughs> Plus these are the low sugar kind. I try to hoard those treats for myself since you know, kids will eat anything. Let's check on our cookies. Okay, so the timer is not on, but I don't even see the oven is on. All right, let me put something down to put the cookies on. See, we learn, we do better. We learn, we do better. These are some serious oven mitts. Look at that. It's like you can, I mean, like, am I gonna, you know, inseminate a cow? I mean, like, where, where am I going elbow deep into something? I don't know. But these do not have any holes in them. What's this say? Real Red Lantern Houseware. <laughs> Okay, let's check on these cookies. Oh, hot, hot. Oh, okay. All right. Now I'm supposed to let them cool on the cookie sheet, which I don't get how they're gonna cool on a hot sheet, but whatever. I will trust the process. I will trust the process. Ooh, they're very hot. How do I know if they're done? I mean, I put them in for the time, but or until the edges of the cookies are golden brown. Well, the cookies are brown. How am I supposed to know if the edges are brown? And how did this one get smashed? Mm, I, you know what, I, I feel like we're good. Ooh, it's way too hot to eat. Okay. I still feel like it would cool faster off the cookie sheet, but it said to leave it on the cookie sheet. Oh, I wonder if we can speed up. I'm gonna put a fan on it. Let's. 
Let's turn up the menopause fan and cool the cookies. Can you do that? Is that cheating? Can we do this? Is it a shortcut? Am I squirreling the procedure, which is in Scientology and the cult? If you change the order of something that L. Ron Hubbard said, you're considered a squirrel. So I am squirreling the process here because I'm not following the directions. Okay, I just heard that timer go off. I don't know why. All right, I just, I just want a little bit. Oh. Wait, maybe I needed a bigger bite. No. These are not that great, but I think it's, it's the missing sugar. <laughs> What's the whole point of these cookies are to be low sugar, but dang, these like, they don't taste like there's any like other type of sweetener in it. It's almost a little bitter. Maybe I could put sugar on top of these sugar-free cookies. <laughs> or maybe some monk fruit sweetener to balance it out. Maybe it gets better. That's why I'm just gonna keep eating it. No, 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 this is not getting better. Well, I think, I don't, I think it's, be, I don't know what, what I did wrong. <laughs> or maybe they're just supposed to taste like that. I don't know, hard to tell because they're low sugar ones. But point is, I tried something new. It is not the ideal. It didn't come out anything like Jenna's cookies, which are absolutely amazing, but I did try. So trying something new, I think is a good thing. So I'm gonna call it a success. <laughs> and I'm gonna get some monk fruit sweetener and sprinkle it over the cookies. In fact, I'll just do that now. Monk fruit sweetener. So we can still stay, stay low. What is this? These are tea bags. Oh, but the sugar's underneath the tea bags. Oh, I remember now. We were going camping and I wanted to take tea and monk fruit sweetener, so I put tea bags in the sugar. Okay, let's try it on one cookie and see if that makes a difference. Okay. It's a little bit better, but it's still not great, so. I still should be not be in the kitchen. I think that uh, I just need to accept the fact that this is not my forte or keep trying. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep trying. You know what, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm very inspired by watching Jenna Miscavige's videos. I think I could find something that I could cook. Maybe it's just not baking. Maybe it's not cookies. But you gotta try new things. And that's one thing that I've learned since leaving Scientology and leaving a cult is take up those opportunities to learn new things and try new things and find out for myself whether I like it or not. And you may have never been in a cult, or maybe you were, who knows? But maybe you were in a, an abusive situation or you have some trauma in your past. Moving beyond that and finding, finding our way in the world by trying new things and having new experiences, I know for me has helped me and I feel like cooking and you know baking might be a part of that, of just continuing to learn how to do new things. Cookies not so great, but I'm not gonna stop trying. Thank you everybody for being here. Please hit that like and hit that subscribe and do not count on me for food and recipes, but join me if you wanna learn new things as I learn new things and figure out life after a cult.